Hi, my name's Matt from Everlight HQ here in London, and today we're going to be going over manual blending using the Auto Blend platform with an AI. In an earlier video, we talked about using camera based calibration with an Auto Blend, but there's a couple more useful tools within that Auto Blend menu that we should go over today. So, if we set up our stage construction the same way as in the previous video, if you haven't seen the previous video, go have a look, first of all. And in our output page, we're going to go back to our Auto Blend settings and hit Configure. Calibrate, same as before, single client calibration. And instead of doing a flat screen, here we're actually going to do a manual setup. So selecting our two screens again, we go Manual Setup and Next. Uh, that will throw something onto the two outputs, just to confirm that that's correct, and we'll just hit Next. So here you can see we've got our video content and our multiple outputs that are selectable from here. So what we can do is we can move these around, create an overlap region, and looking at our physical output, we can try to get it as close as possible and then grabbing each corner we can do a bit of manual warping using the fine command will help us even more. So I'm gonna drag this till we get it somewhat close and then grabbing this corner, we'll try to line up the best we can at the top right of that set first screen. Doing the same with the bottom. And then we're going to probably have to change this as well so that we get the scaling stretched over the right width and height. And it's a little bit of trial and error to get everything just right. But we want to have that right side edge nice and flush. And we'll switch over to our other screen. Or we can select the corner. And here we can try to get it in the right position. And don't worry if um, you don't get it straight away. You can always just add in more adjustments later on to get it more precise. So we're just going to keep going until maybe add some midpoints in here. Stretch that out. So there we go. We can see most of our lines now are getting closer and closer, but we might actually need to add additional columns or rows. And once you get into a position where you're happy with the warp, there's a button here for calculate blending, and that will take the overlap region and calculate uh, a blend for that region in the middle. And then we can go back to our video content screen and set this up so that it fits within our two projector outputs, like so. And we can add, like previously, we can add in additional columns to create more uh, warping regions. And there we go. It's not entirely perfect. I could spend a bit more time trying to clean up those edges in the middle. Um, but we don't really have enough time in this video for that. So I'm just going to click Save and Finish. Save over our previous settings. 
uh, file save project and export just to be doubly sure that it's saved and exported to the correct location. And now when we close this down and activate, assign the projector to the selected output on two and three, we see that we now have our warped image from a manual setup, even though we didn't have a camera this time. And we can play our content on it just like any other single surface. And that's how we do manual blending with AutoBlend within AI. If you guys would like to know more, please check out our other videos that we have on our site uh, and come back here every month for some new videos and we'll see you guys soon.